What we wanted to talk to you about today is the illusion of time. Time is simply a marker for an event. It is a record locator. And if you want to think of it as the Dewey Decimal System of sorts for your experiences, then you can. Within the third dimension, it is the only dimension in which you experience linear time. It is one of the constructs of the game. And it is a very unique perspective, one that that we don't have in any of the other dimensions. Part of the game was that you see yourself as separate, that you see yourself as disconnected, that you go down to a planet that's very dense with a wide range of motions, and then you can't see any of the other probable realities that are going alongside you. And you have to find and feel your way through without knowing what's coming over the next hill. And it makes for a very exciting ride. Now, when you're in the midst of it, you all think, well, this isn't any fun. This doesn't feel very good. But as soon as you expand your awareness again, you say, that was a great ride. I want to go back. Let's go. So we acknowledge your courage. We honor and, uh, and we are very grateful, as we said, to have the opportunity to share the experience with you. Now, as you are going through this process of ascension, and what is ascension? It simply is increasing your frequency. So as you go through this process of increasing your frequency, what you will eventually do is to cross a dimensional barrier. And there really isn't a barrier in the way that you think of it. It's not a wall. There, there literally is a membrane, all right? But you move into a new frequency range, you move into a new dimension. And once you cross, you change the game. Now when you get up to the fourth dimensional level and above, it is a multi-dimensional game. You have the ability to see probable timelines that are going on right beside you. All right, There are infinite ways that you can experience a reality. In linear form, you are focused intently on one string, if you will, if you want to think of it that way. You can also think of it as focusing your energy on a singular point. If you want to see it as a spotlight, your energy being focused like a sharp spotlight onto the singular point. Now, when you get lost thinking about the past or you get lost thinking about the future, what happens is this spotlight becomes diffused and your energy is no longer sharp, but rather it's being, it's being pulled off onto another point. It's no longer focused. And that's your energy. That light is your soul's essence. So when you're not in the now, when you're not present, you are not fully energized. You're not fully engaged. So, in the higher realms, how you experience this, how you experience reality, is to stand in one point and be able to look down multiple timelines to see what the potentials feel like. We would describe it as being akin to someone who is fast-forwarding through a movie. You get the experience, you get the idea of what's coming, but you don't really feel it. And that's what it's like to project forward, to kind of peek at some of these other probable realities and other probable timelines. And then you get to decide which one feels really good and then project yourself forward and have that experience to shift your focus onto that point, if you will. We'd like everyone to take a nice deep breath. Are you all with us so far? We've got to talk about the nature of reality a bit before we can really get into time because you have to understand how it operates. So, your version of the now, the experience that you're having in this moment is all that there is. The past, the future, it's all concurrent. It's all going on. They're right at this same now moment. You are constantly moving back and forth between these now moments. If you put them all together, it looks like a string, all right? So you can think of it as a string. We also call it the harbor probability, 
because each string has its own unique vibration, just as each string on the harp has its own unique frequency. And based on where you are vibrating, you are putting yourself on a different string of reality or a different point of reality. Now, each point has an agreed upon set of circumstances that you say are your past. Because you're in linear reality, you've got to build it that way. So, you've got your own personal level and you've got your own collective level. As you alter your frequency, what will happen if you alter it dramatically, you are going to put yourself onto another timeline. Those of you who have ever had the experience of deja vu have put yourself on another timeline. That's what that experience is. Yes, you've repeated a part of it and you're feeling it all over again. Now, most of the shifts you make between these timelines are rather subtle. Most of you aren't making huge shifts in your belief systems which are altering your patterning, which are then putting you elsewhere. Most of it is pretty subtle. That's why you, you're not finding yourself on a version of Earth where World War II didn't occur. All right, so you're, you're finding yourself in a future version where there are um, flying cars. All right, because your reality, the vibration, is similar. It's not dramatically different. Now, as you go here, as you go through and increasing your frequency, your experience of time is very, very different. Frequencies don't move through time at the same rate. So, let's just talk about your cells, for instance. If you've got a cell in your body that is vibrating at a lower rate, it doesn't experience time or move through time at the same rate as those that are vibrating at a higher frequency. How you perceive that is that those cells are damaged and degenerating. But in reality, those cells are regenerating, just not as quickly as the other cells around it. Does that make sense? Do you all understand what we said, what we're saying here? So, if you can shift your perception of reality just a bit to see that your body is always in a constant state of repair and that it's just moving through time at a different rate, that will help you to have a very healthy body because you're going to see yourself as constantly regenerating as opposed to broken and something needs to be fixed. Because what you're pulsing out is what you get back. And as you're sending out those signals that I'm constantly in a state of regeneration, the cells respond and say, all right, we're constantly in a state of regeneration, let's go. So a lot of the shifts that you're making right now are subtle. Right? The timelines that you're moving through and changing to are subtle. As you increase in frequency, you are experience, experiencing accelerated time. So if you think back 20 years ago and what the pace of life was like, it was much, much slower. You all don't really notice it because you just say, oh, that's life. Life is hectic. Life is busy. Your 24-hour day feels more like it's about 12 hours right now. Next year, it's going to feel more like it's about eight. Now, already we see some of you squirming in your seats. There's not enough time for me to get things done now. How am I going to do it next year? The stress starts. No worries. Because all you have to do is to understand that it's simply a marker. That you can project yourself anywhere you want to be. You align yourself with that time with that marker, with that point, with that experience. So, if you want to think about it this way, you need to be at the office at 9.30. Right now it's 9.15, and you're 45 minutes away, at least how you normally perceive it, for you to drive. As you start to pulse vibrationally, that you are there, that you are present, and aligned with that version of reality, where you're walking in the door at 9.30, you start to bend time. You start to align yourself and project yourself with that moment. Everybody take a deep breath. Simple, really. And you're rewiring your brain with how you think time exists. So for some of you, this is going to feel like a stretch. 
it's going to feel a bit of a mind bender, all right? And as you're trying to digest these ideas that we're giving you, and the, the wheel is just going around and around, we want you to see it as an orb of light. And we want you to drop this orb of light down into the heart center. Because the heart center can process all of that information that the mind can't. Remember, the mind is set up as a filter for the third dimension. The paradigm of the third dimension is that there's only one timeline. So what the brain does is it throws out all that extraneous data. You can't process it. When you drop the energy down and start experiencing it, processing it through the heart center, the heart has no filters. It is the multi-dimensional filter. And it just sits in the heart and you say, oh yes, that's how time exists. I remember this. The rest is just an illusion. 